Hunter Hearst Helmsley and Dude Love would kick off this European pay-per-view with an opening singles match. The bitter rivalry between the two competitors dates back to when Helmsley defeated Dude Love's alter ego Mankind in the 1997 King of the Ring Finals. Many questions still remain regarding Helmsley's relationship with Shawn Michaels and what his intentions might be for Michaels' title match later in the night. But Helmsley knew that he needed to keep his focus on the match at hand. Our objectives win the match. Historical bonus objectives hit the pedigree and pin in 10 seconds. What's up, Nerds and Geeks? My name is OMGWTF, LOL, FTW, BRB, and welcome to episode 2 of the Attitude Era version, or Attitude Era mode, excuse me, of WWE 13. In the first episode, we established Degeneration X in a way. We had a. Uh, we faced Mankind with Shawn Michaels and our investment, I think it was called. I don't remember. Our enforcer or something like that. The backup, basically. Hunter Hearst Helmsley came down to make sure we did. And then the next night, we uh, tagged up with Hunter Hearst Helmsley. You know, a little post-DX to take on Mankind and The Undertaker. This time, where it seems to be, we seem to be in England. Jolly old England. To take on Dude Love with Hunter Hearst Helmsley. And our mission objectives is to defeat him. Not in 10 seconds. We need to hit the pedigree on him. Then beat him. Or pin him, at least, in 10 seconds. So in order for me to ensure that I do this, Nerds and Geeks, I am going to weaken him. Like, I mean bad. Like, I might get my finisher and not use it at first, just so I can make sure I kind of, you know... His, that way, I know for sure I can pin him because I have a. I want to make sure I, I get all the bonus objectives. I kind of want to 100% this, you know? So let's go. And here comes Dude Love, another person you guys can vote for to be in the universe mode. I know I stated this. If you guys want, you um, can vote for the WWE Universe to choose the uh, different uh, attires or versions of the characters like Mankind or Mick Foley, for instance. You guys can actually vote on Dude Love if you want to see him, and I'll use Dude Love instead of putting Mankind and Cactus Jack in there. But that's all up to you, nerds and geeks. But um, we um, you can also vote on like The Rock. I know he has one, Triple H has one, uh, John Cena, Bradshaw, um, Lita, I'm trying to remember them, Chris Jericho, you know, they all have different attires or different uh, versions of their characters, so if you want to vote, go right ahead, um, Norton, of course, if you're new, just popped up, nerds and geeks that have been with me for a while would know that Norton seems to enjoy interrupting my videos with countless pop-ups most of the time. I also apologize if you're a new nerd and geek, because I know this game is relatively new. I apologize if you are new and my quality is not the best. I understand. I currently play on what I call a crap top, and the quality is not bad, but it could be better. I know it can. I just need a better laptop, honestly. Nonetheless, we are facing Dude Love and my mission objectives to hit the pedigree well, actually, my mission objective is just to win the match. My bonus objective is to hit the pedigree and pin in 10 seconds. But since I want to 100% this stuff, we are going to try to do every single thing. Even if there's like a thousand of them. Beautiful Shinbreaker from Dude Love. Dude Love. Dude Love is a character you didn't really see that often. Like, we saw, like, at least me. I don't remember much of Dude Love. I remember... I remember seeing Cactus Jack, and I remember seeing Mankind. Dude Love, I remember seeing like every once in a while, but that's honestly about it. Dude Love, in my opinion, was the least used out of Mankind's characters. Especially if you consider that Cactus Jack was used in ECW. I don't think Dude Love was. I know Cactus Jack was also used in, um, uh, what was I saying? Used in WCW. I apologize also it might get a little loud. My little brothers have just come home and they're a little rowdy once they get off school. You know, kind of like Rowdy Rowdy Piper. <laughs> that was so dumb. And we get swept. I apologize that I'm, honestly, I'm a, I, I, I consider myself a better commentator. And I feel like I don't talk much during these Road to WrestleMania or the Attitude Era thing. It's mainly because I concentrate... I'm trying what's going I mean, you know, on what's going on. In the ring. There's that back body drop. Uh, 
Oh man, dude, love, what are you doing? That's an interesting name, honestly. Dude, love, I like it. What? I can't, I fell out of the ring. There we go. Oh my god, I'm gonna sneeze. All right, I muted my microphone. That way, you didn't hear me sneeze. Cause that's embarrassing. Really working on the head there is Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Hunter Hearst Helmsley, my favorite professional wrestler. Not him, honestly, but the game Triple H. Why did you go around? Come here, dude, love. Come here, dude, love. No, 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 no! I didn't mean to. Why was I still being counted out? I was on the apron. Does that still count as being out of the ring? Like Alright, let's do... Oh, we don't have the signature no more. Never mind. Toss him up in the air. Let's weaken his face a little bit more. Oh, or not. Or not. Ah, oh, we were too late on that one. I wanted to hurt his head, but... Dude, love, believe it or not, is kind of difficult. I don't know if they upped the difficulty here. It's really... I'm not saying it's difficult. I know I just said that word so many times, too, but it's not. Like, I'm not sure if I'm just having a hard time, but I, I enjoy it because I used to be really good at these games. Like, too good. That's why, I actually, in my universe mode of WWE 12, that it's still going on because the year 2012 was not over, um, which ends December 7th, by the way. But that's why I, I used to play the matches, but I stopped because... I'm too good, and the matches just weren't fun to watch, if you ask me. I actually made the computers do it, because... Oh my god, he reverses everything! It's ridiculous! There we go. Work on that head some more. Spam it. Let's go for... Another reversal. Oh, he has his signature. Oh, crap. Get him with the clothesline! And there we go. I know Triple H, or <clears throat> Hunter Hearst only doesn't go to the top very often, but YOLO. And a neck breaker. want to see him hold it. What is with you? And he's reversed. He's holding his head. No, 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 dude. Love, please, please, pity on my soul. I didn't mean to press Y. I panicked. Hopefully this is enough. Go for the pin. Go for the pin. Yeah! That was... I'm not going to say hard, but... Very stressful. The fact that... I literally had to pin him right after I did it. But I did it. And I panicked, so I didn't know if the pedigree was going to do enough damage, but... It worked out in my favor, nerds and geeks. Have faith in me, would you? Hunter Hearst Helmsley is victorious. That was not a bad match, honestly. I really like it. Uh, we got a bonus match. I don't know what that is. But I really actually kind of like, I like the fact that it's, it's kind of challenging to me. I don't know if it's, be, like I said, because I, I'm a little rusty or because the game actually made it that way, but I feel like they reverse a lot more. So, it, it, I don't know, it feels good. I like the fact that I'm having a little bit of a, a challenging, or a challenge in this. I am going to read that on the next one, because it's too late to read it now. And around this time, WCW is still leading, and they just formed the NWO again. Shawn Michaels was the WWE's first Grand Slam champion. A moink Monker, Monker, given to, given to superstars that have held every championship in the company in order to reach that impressive accolade. Michaels had to defeat the British Bulldog, the current European champion, in his own backyard. The British Bulldog would put even more on the line by dedicating the match to his family. The outcome of this match would end up throwing a lot more fuel on the fire between the Click and the Heart Foundation. Our match objective is to win the, win by pinfall or submission. Our historical bonus objectives, perform a diving attack off the top rope to the outside of the ring, perform two signature diving elbow drops, hit sweet chin music, and win by submission. So this is pretty cool, British Bulldog. Um, 
not a WWE Hall of Famer yet, but will be. And a man that left us way too soon. Phenomenal professional wrestler. The uh, most <laughs> uh, two moments that come in my head with British Bulldog is one with this man actually right here where Bulldog eliminated Shawn Michaels. He, Him and Michaels were number one and two in the Royal Rumble. He eliminated Michaels and... Oh. Anyway, yeah, where uh, Bulldog eliminated Shawn Michaels, and then Michaels only one of Shawn Michaels' feet touched the floor. And Michaels eliminated Bulldog to win the Royal Rumble from number one, the first person to ever do it. Another one, of course, is probably a memory that a lot of people think of, at least I would hope so, would be um, the Intercontinental title match, I believe in this uh, arena too, in England at least, against British Bulldog and Bret Hart. That was actually a very phenomenal, emotional just fantastic match between the two. Bulldog actually won the match, and it was fitting. I believe Bret Hart actually went. Oh. Well. I got interrupted again, but I'll try to time it correctly. I just don't know when they're going to talk. But, you know, that was an all-out match. Uh, Bret Hart, I believe, went to go on and win the WWF Championship later on. My cat won't stop hitting my laptop, so i got to move her. And, um... Bulldog went on to hold the Intercontinental title not for too long. I believe Shawn Michaels actually beat him for it. The European Championship also made a comeback in WWE 12 during the villain storyline with Sheamus. So this should be fun. Got to take on the British Bulldog. I wonder if I unlock him if I do all the objectives. That's a way to get everyone to do the bonus objectives. You want all the characters? Do the bonus objectives, which I have no problem. I actually enjoy the bonus objectives. Oh, um, Bulldog, you came out of nowhere. What are you doing? He has a finisher. Is he? No. That's not his finisher. It is. He's going to try to beat me that fast. This guy. Why would you do that so to me, Bulldog? That was so early in the match. There's an NWO shirt. Does he not know that you're in WWE? Oh my hell. I'm telling you, everyone's all about reversals in this game. Well, this is our first. Oh, that was perfect. That was just like the attitude back in the day, dude. People used to do that all the time. So we got a win by a submission. Didn't know Shawn Michaels actually won matches by a submission. What are you doing? What? Get! Don't you touch me. Got a gut check in there. Gonna bounce him off the ropes. And completely missed that. Um, let's try that again. Oh, no, oh, wait, what the hell? And he reversed it. I'm gonna be reversed a lot, I can already tell. But I can reverse too. And so can he. Oh, Jesus! It's just like... The game knows what I'm going to do next. And I didn't reverse that. Oh, I thought he was going for a pin in there. Not a good idea. There we go. Got a reversal off. And he just reverses us again. Get some punches off. There's a nice insiguri. It's Irish whip him into the turnbuckle run towards him and clothesline. All right, now it seems like we're we're getting some damage in. The bulldog does not know what's going on. Oh, shit! Got a gut chuck in there. A gut chuck. A gut check. Let's perch him to the top of the turnbuckle, nerds and knees. Let's put him all the way up there, shall we? 
What does Shawn Michaels have in here? He's going way up there. A superplex. And the ring collapses. Yeah, right. I wonder how you do that in this game. How to get the ring to collapse, because I know they put it in here. Let's connect. Boom. There's the kip up. And another axe handle. Shawn Michaels is Cray. Nice elbow drop. And the bulldog. How do you... Boom, there's another Insigiri. Yeah, Bulldog, where's your reversals now? What is that sign? That's another thing I'm actually going to do with the creative characters. I'm going to actually... Oh, I was too late. I'm, uh, I'm going to make them personal signs. And we have a new creative superstar. Our person that won our contest. I hope he enjoys it because I actually really like what I did with his character. I'm not going to reveal anything yet because I don't want to spoil anything. But I can't wait, honestly. Everything in his life. Intercontinental Champion. I'm going to sneeze again, I think. Will he be able to call himself the European Champion? Not when British Bulldog reverses everything. But I can reverse too, eh? 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 Oh! No, Sean! Up on ropes! Elbow drop! Um, let's get the Sweet Chin Music out of the way. Hopefully it will count it. He's tuning up the band! Sweet Chin Music! And it's... It's Hunter Hearst Helmsley, the insurance policy. That's what his name was. Well, not his name, but that's what they were calling him. I gotta, yeah, it did count. I gotta just perform one more diving elbow. <laughs> Excuse me, Dirty Geeks. I got a runny nose today. Don't know why, because I'm not sick. I know that. Pretty much, you know, you can tell when you're sick. At least I can. I know when I'm sick. Actually, that's a complete lie, because even when I'm sick, I doubt it. I'm just like, I'm not sick. I think everybody does that, though. Am I the only one? I don't know. I Taylor, what do you think? Taylor is my cat to all you newcomers. And all you people that just don't pay attention. Ooh, nice fist drop. Actually kind of looked like a knee drop. Ah, British Bulldog still in this match. Let me hide the checklist. I don't need it no more. I know what I got to do. I know what I got to do. Got to do an elbow drop and then just move my submission. I wanted to make sure it counted the switch and music. I wasn't sure if it did or not. Gosh, how long does it take? Cross body. Oh, signature. We got it. And Michaels jumps. There's the elbow drop. And let's go for a submission hold. Oh, I'm sorry if you hear me mashing buttons. I'm mashing buttons. Come on, video games. We got it. We got it. Yes. We got it. We did it. You know, let's go for another match. How bad did Shawn Michaels want the European Championship? He brought in the insurance policy. He brought in Helms. And this sellout crowd here in Birmingham is living. I told you, JR. I told you, Shawn Michaels is the first ever Grand Slam champion in the WWE. Will you look at that arrogance? Michaels, the new European champion. Imagine Europe being represented by Shawn Michaels. My God, this is just awful. I'm not sure if I want to do another one. You know what? Heads or tails. That's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to do heads or tails. Oh, we unlocked the one night only. Uh, heads, if, if it lands on heads, we'll keep going. If it lands on tails, we'll end the video here. It's tails, nerds and geeks. That sucks. Well, that is the end of episode two, then, nerds and geeks. I hope you have enjoyed it, nerds and geeks. If you have, please leave me a like, and if you would like to see more, please subscribe. I have been OMGWTF, LOL, FTW, BRB, nerds and geeks. And I'll be seeing you next time in episode three of Let's Play the Attitude Era Mode. So until then, you guys have a great day.